from LabVIEW and Multisim. It is our third number video of LabVIEW tutorial series. In this section, uh, we will discuss about how we can use Timing VI to break down the while loop and how Timing VI affects our execution of the loop. So let's start the session. Okay. Now here I'm going to write a program, a small program, addition of two number. A, B, now take a indicator A plus B. Right click, come into the add, click here, make a connection like this. and open the label. It's a small Lush program which I have writ uh, written here. Now, if I will run this program, here I am going to put the value 1 and three, uh, 2. So if I will run this program, so it will execute okay, within a fraction of a second and will get the data. Now, here I am going to use one wait function. Look at here, right click, come here, come in timing, Wait millisecond function I am using. Wait millisecond. Click here. Right click create constant. And here I am going to provide its wait millisecond. Its wait millisecond. Okay. So it's uh, wait for, uh, till uh, the given millisecond. It, uh, one means one millisecond. So here I am going to provide 1000 millisecond that's equal to one second. Now if I will run this program 2 plus 2. So now you can see here 2 plus 2 after the 2 plus 2 it will after the 2 plus 2 4 it will wait for one second here, here I am going to display I am going to give the 2 millisecond wait 2 millisecond and run 3 plus 2 will get the real 5 after that it will wait for the 2 second if I will put 1 0 here So it will okay. Just a second. I'm going. To, I need to stop the program first. Okay. Run four plus two six, and after that it will wait for a twenty second. Twenty second. Why? Because here I had given a twenty thousand millisecond. So it will wait for the. So it will wait for twenty second. After the twenty second, the execute will uh, the sorry the execution will complete. Now, here I am going to use one more function. Wait until next millisecond. Right click, create. Here I am going to put one second. Wait until millisecond. Now, uh, I am going to run the program 4 plus 3 equals 7. Again, I am going to put it 10 milliseconds. 10 seconds. 4 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay. So, wait and wait uh, until next millisecond multiples. It's, uh, okay. It's behave the same uh, like, okay. It's, uh, these are uh, the behavior is same. In uh, upcoming video section, we will discuss what is the difference between wait millisecond and wait until next millisecond. But here, the most important thing is we need to know how we can break down our while loop. Right click, come here, for loop, take a while loop. Now, you know very well, if I will activate the while loop by the stop button and this one, indicator now if i will run my program so you know very well the loop will execute very fast now i want to run my loop as per my okay uh, as per my given time interval means if i want to run this loop only 10 time in a one second if i want to run this while loop 
10 time 10 time in a one second so for that you have to come into the timing come into the timing and wait millisecond and create you have to give the 100 millisecond delay you have to give the 100 millisecond delay now this loop will run now this loop will uh, run 10 time in one second okay now this loop will run 10 time in one second and now you can see the execution speed of the loop is very slow here i am going to write the same logic now Come here, take a multiply function, sorry, uh, take a divide function. Make a connection like this. Right click, create constant, give the value 10. Now here I am going to run the program. Now you can see the execution speed of the loop is very slow. execution speed of the loop is slow and we can easily represent and display our data why this loop is running 10 time you know 10 time in one second how can we say that look at here millisecond millisecond in one second hundred millisecond sorry in one second there in one second is equal to thousand millisecond but here i am using here i am giving 10 here i am giving 100 millisecond that means 1000 divided by 10 sorry 1000 divided by 100 so this loop will run 10 time now in a one second in a one second the loop will run sorry 100 millisecond i had given now i am providing now i am giving 1000 millisecond now you will see the loop will execute each and okay once every second the loop will execute once every second. Now you can see each and every second we are able to generate one sample. We are able to generate or we are able to record or we are able to display one sample. One sample per second. One sample per second. Every second one sample. Every second one sample because my loop is executing okay once every second why my loop is executing once every second because we have okay we have given the weight for, uh, because we had applied the weight okay wait time and the time is 100 and the time is 100 millisecond sorry 1000 millisecond now here i am going to use the number of sample number of sample suppose i want to suppose i want to read 10 sample every second suppose i want to read 10 sample every second so i need to write this program i need to write this program here i am going to click one that means Thousand divided by one sample. Thousand divided by one, so it will get one, and each and every second we will get one one data. If I want to give, if I want to, uh, if I want to read, if I want to read two sample every second, two sample every second. So for that we need to give wait millisecond time is equal to 500. So now 1000 divided by 2 is equal to 500. Now every second we will get 2 to data.
Suppose if I want to measure the five sample every second, so thousand divided. So for that, two hundred millisecond we need to two hundred millisecond. Uh, sorry, two hundred millisecond we need to provide. So that's why here I am giving the five thousand divided by five two hundred. So now each and every second I will get five five data. So now, what is the sampling rate? Okay, what is the ex ex uh, okay execution speed? Execution speed is 200 millisecond per cycle. 200 millisecond per cycle. And in one min uh, second, it's uh, running in one minute. Sorry, in one second, it's running near about five times. Why? Because uh, to complete one cycle is taking nearly 200 millisecond. Now, suppose I want to run this program. Suppose I want to run this program for four seconds only. Suppose if I want to run this program. For four second only. So for that, it will be one. And here I am going to write one code. I equal to zero. I equal to three. I equal to three. Using this concept, my loop will run. For using this concept, my loop will run four time. And to execute one second, to, uh, sorry, to execute, to execute, uh, to complete the execution of one loop, the time it will take one second. Okay, and it will start from zero, one, two, three. So the loop will run four time, and every time it four times, and every time it will. Take five, sorry, uh, one second. So, uh, so the final, this loop will run four second. After four second, this loop will complete the execution. Now you can see four signal, four samples. Now here I am going to close, uh, clear the chart. Now you will see. I want to run this function for the six time. Six times zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you will see, uh, see here. We will get only five value. Five sample we are getting here only. Five sample we are getting only. In this way, you can control the execution of speed, and you can con okay, you can control the number of execution. Let's go to the another example. Here, when you will come into the timing, when you will come into timing, you will get elapsed time. You will get elapsed time. Now the elapsed time is two seconds for me. Okay. Run. Now the elapsed time is two second for me. Right click, take a while loop. I want to run. I want to run this uh, this while loop for five second. I want to run. Sorry, I want to run this while loop for five second. Create constant for five second. I want to run this while loop. For five seconds. That's why I had given the target in second. The target time target in second is five, and time elapsed. I had connected with the loop condition terminal. Loop condition terminal. I had connected. Loop condition terminal. I had connected with the time has elapsed. So it is my 
elapsed time functions. I have taken the elapsed time functions from here. Now, the target. I want to run this loop for the five seconds, and after five seconds, I want the system should stop. Right? The loop should terminate. Let's see how many time, how many time my loop will run. How many time my loop will run in the five second? Eighteen lakh. In a five second, my loop is running. 18 lakh time in a five second my loop is running near about 18 lakh time okay now it's run 19 lakh time no 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 uh one lakh ninety one thousand yes one lakh ninety one thousand now it's run one lakh ninety one thousand One lakh eighty eight, one lakh eighty eight thousand, one lakh eighty eight thousand. Okay, one lakh eighty eight thousand, as of one lakh nineteen thousand. Sorry, uh, yes, one lakh ninety thousand. Now you can see this loop when I will run the program. So the loop will run for five seconds and it will terminate automatically. And now you can see it's running one lakh eighty six thousand time. So sometime it's one lakh nineteen, uh, one lakh ninety thousand, and others. Now if I will, if I want to run my loop five time, now if I want to run my loop for five second, and each and every second only, okay, each and every time only one, each and every second only once I want to run. Means I want to run my loop. Five second and each and every second I want to generate only one sample means the loop if each and every second my system should run my system my while loop should execute only once so for that I need to use this functions and now this loop will run six time only Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you will see. Now you can see the loop is running six time only. Okay. Always you should start counting from zero. That's why here I am going to increase. I am going to apply the increment to check proper number. Check proper number. Okay. Now here I am going to run. Now you can see the loop will uh, the loop is running, and the loop will run six times, six times, and loop will terminate automatically after five seconds. So thank you for watching this.